Okay folks, figured I'd give you an update on my solar system here. I've added two more panels here. So now I've got six panels total. Each panel is uh, 250 watts. And I've got uh, each set of panels. Well, I should say, okay, let's go. Let's go back here. Okay, those two panels there are wired in series to produce uh, 48 volts. They're 24 volt panels. So those are wired in 48 volts. The next two are wired in, into 48 volts and the same with the third set. So I've got three sets of 48 volts of panels feeding in underground into my cabin here and since I'm since I'm waiting on parts for my truck my fuel pump went out on my truck so I've got a I've got the the bed liner pulled out of my truck and I'm gonna be cutting a hole in the bed of my truck to get to the fuel pump so that I can change that but it'll be a few days yet before I get the parts and materials in here so that I can cut that hole in the in the bed there but anyway the that's getting back to the to the panels here or the solar system uh, as I said I've got it all running underground coming up into my cabin here and uh, going into my stairwell that goes into the basement I've got a platform that goes over this over the stairway and uh, that's looking down into the basement there but my battery bank is up above the, the stairwell and of course the wiring comes in down uh, through this wall here and it comes up to the uh, to a fuse there or a breaker I should say not a fuse it's a breaker and then it goes over to my uh, midnight a classic 150 uh, charge controller and uh, let's see if I can get a, a shot here uh, let's see Right now I'm uh, 27 volts, but it's bringing in 59.8 volts, and a little over 600 watts, but it's a little bit hazy, cloudy out there. And so far today I've brought in 400 or 4.3 kilowatts, and of course the door blew shut, so. Okay, now that Midnight Classic feeds down and uh, charges the batteries. And I've got four L16 batteries here. And uh, let's see, these are uh, I can't make out what the amps are on these batteries or the amp hours on the batteries are but they're pretty good size anyhow 300 and something amp hours per battery and of course I've got those wired in, uh, in series to make uh, a 24 or a, yeah 24 volt system and uh, coming off the batteries up to my main uh, charger or my main uh, charge oh boy I'm getting all mixed up here today coming up to my main uh, inverter which is an Ames uh, 2000 watt inverter 
Uh, it's got all the bells and whistles on it. I can I can start the generator up and feed that into my uh, into the charge con or into the uh, system here through this wiring right here. And if the if the batteries get low and it's nighttime or whatever, it's been a cloudy for a few days, I can crank up the charger or the the uh, generator and charge my batteries through my Ames uh, inverter and, uh, and then I've got another small inverter here that I'm using just for my uh, refrigerator and lights inside the house now this big one here it's running uh, both my computers uh, and uh, chest freezer so that's uh, that's about the the gist of my system here of course everything uh, is grounded through this bus bar right here and that that bottom line goes on out to a ground rod that's down into the ground so it's it's a it's a learning process for everybody that wants to get into solar uh, there's a learning curve to it and I'm liking I'm liking what I have here right now but I do want to add four more uh, batteries to my bank here and I want to still keep it at 24 volts so it's uh this is my system so thanks for watching y'all take care and god bless